Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about a new smartwatch from Kubot, the Kubot N1. So this beast here, well, it's an actual beast. It's massive. It's 49 and a half millimeters in diameter. It's 14 and a half millimeters thick. So it is the rugged smartwatch. Anyway, in today's review, we'll be looking at the Kubot N1. Let's get into it. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Well, it's not really a smartwatch. It's more of a fitness tracker that looks like a smartwatch. But for just 39 bucks or 30 pounds, you can get yourself a very smart looking, intelligent watch. So with the Kubot N1, this is what it looks like. This is the box. On the outside, it says smartwatch. So there's nothing that would say that it's a Kubot. But nonetheless, it's black, it's small. Let's do a quick unboxing. So as soon as you take off, the lid and you're met with this actual smartwatch as well as the magnetic charging pin. Let's take the smartwatch out of its box. So the Kubot N1 did surprise us because for 39 bucks you do get quite a bit of functionality. So you do get 13 sport modes. It's 580 and waterproof. It's big because it is rugged but if you think about the specs so it's actually got an LCD screen but it's 240 by 240 pixels so it is quite bright you actually get your sleep tracked on this you get continuous heart rate monitoring on top of that you do get your blood oxygen saturation level measured as well as that it's also got music so you can control music off your wrist off your smartwatch anyways in this particular review first we'll be looking at the design then we'll get into the display specs and then we'll talk about the really cool stuff like the features and functions so without further ado let's get into the design of the Kubot N1. Let's do it. So if we talk about how this thing actually looks, well, it's got the metal finish on the bezel, right? You've got the actual screen sunk in just about a millimeter, half a millimeter inside the bezel. On the side, you do have hard plastic. On the underside, it's also hard plastic. But you will see that it is a circular design. The actual diameter of the case is 49 and a half millimeters while the thickness is 14 and a half millimeters so that is quite hefty and if we look at the four screws that are done symmetrically over the bezel we can see what this sort of hints at it does hint at the Garmin Fenix design it's not a look-alike but it does look like that sort of style watch and of course if you look at the two buttons on the side because there are two plastic buttons on the right hand side of the watch case now let's be frank the two buttons on the side could have been metal as well just like the bezel but they're not they are plastic so the top right button is actually the power button or the function button which gets you back to the screen now on the underside you do have a button which gets you to your activity list or basically to your main apps and widgets the lugs on this thing are also plastic now they do look firm enough they do look secure enough but i think it would have been nicer if they were metal just like the bezel in fact if the whole watch case was metal it would have made it look just a bit more sturdy but then again we are paying just 40 bucks for it or 30 pounds let's take a look at the actual strap design so it does look interesting it does curve around your wrist on the top of the wrist right next to the lugs another interesting thing is that the clasp is the classic watch type clasp and that is a nice addition because the watch type clasp is just so simple to use we're all used to it we know how it works and it's metal and what i absolutely love about it is that it's got the actual brand logo on the top of the clasp and that just looks nice so many premium as well as the non-premium brands don't really do that but when you do have that logo on the clasp, it gives it just that extra special feel to it. Now, if we look at the rest of the actual band, we can see that it is quite a thick TPU rubber strap. In fact, this one here is 24 millimeters wide, but it is the generic type. So it is the easy clicking. And that means that you can get many third party straps online if you don't like this one but i do like the feel of the original strap in it it does help you with the rugged 
look and it is quite comfortable i've been wearing it for about four days now and i can say that my wrist does not get sweaty under this particular strap with the display it's quite simple so this is a tft lcd screen it's got 240 by 240 pixels which provides quite clear vision when you're looking at the actual screen nothing is pixelated it's clear enough it's bright enough and quite importantly you do get quite a number of preset faces already pre-installed so just keep your finger on the actual watch face and as you click into the menu you can scroll left or right and look at the faces available they are quite informative so choose the one you like best and put it on now in regards to the glass on top of this this is not corning glass but nonetheless it is hardened glass so that means that if you do have some knocks and bumps you would not be breaking or scratching the screen as easily so the display size here is 1.28 inches that's quite big almost 1.3 inches actually another interesting point about the display is that it is touch activated as well as having the operations from the two buttons on the side so it does make it quite convenient on your runs on your swims or wherever even if you're taking it outside for the casual use anyway now let's get into the features and functions we can talk about battery life we'll tell you what this watch can and cannot do let's do it now this kubot n1 is actually quite mature what but what i mean by mature is that it looks and feels like a smartwatch of course it doesn't have the full functionality of a smartwatch it doesn't have the ecosystem something as offered by garmin polar samsung or apple but it does feel like a smartwatch because it looks the part and the actual gesture control that you get on this watch does feel very grown up now the rest of the shortcut screens as well as the main widget and app screen actually come when you swipe horizontally so either left or right i like to swipe once right and you actually see your widgets or your apps then if you swipe left you go back to home and then you can keep on swiping left to get to your shortcut screens so you do get your heart rate screen you get your daily activity screen you get your spo2 screen and this is great because the spo2 function actually works very quickly so you don't have to wait for up to a minute the measurement does take place literally in about 10 to 15 seconds and that is very quick if you keep swiping to the left you actually get to the sleep tracking screen and this is where it gets exciting so you don't actually have to go to your app to watch how much you slept during the night and what the kubot n1 measures is your overall sleep time and your going to sleep time as well as your wake up time so this is quite useful if you keep on swiping left you will get to your weather app and then of course you get to your music controls and i love the fact that the buttons are huge it's so easy to press play or to the next song or go to the previous song simply because it's a 1.3 inch lcd display and if you're exercising it's so easy just to pull this watch out actually click on next song or play the song because you can clearly see what you're pressing it's not a fitness tracker it's a huge smartwatch look-alike and one more swipe to the left will actually get you back home so this is how you operate the kubot n1 let's get into the particular features and functions and we'll tell you what this watch can do for you now i'll be frank when you do get to your sports list or your apps and your widgets list i love the fact that you get to move around in a semi-crescent motion that does feel mature it feels as if you are operating a much more expensive smartwatch so let's see what you get you get the training app you get your heart rate app your spo2 app your status or your daily activity tracker as well as your sleeping app you get a stopwatch i don't know why you get a stopwatch but you don't get a timer then of course you can go to your messengers or your settings when you go to your settings you will notice that there is no brightness options because if you do want to adjust the brightness on your watch you have to go back home so press the top right button swipe down from the home screen to get your shortcut option and then you've got the brightness in the bottom left of the shortcut screen so this little star click on that a number of times and you can choose your brightness setting nice and simple now let's go and talk about sports because after all it's a smart slash sport watch now even though it does have the 13 sport modes i did notice a small minus 
and the minus says you don't get goal-based activities so any activity let's say we go into training let's choose running so I click it the only option I get is when it runs and I can just change the screens but I can't really set any goal-based activity such as I can't set a goal of the distance I want to run or the time I want to do it or the calories to be burned so that's a slight minus but then again the price is just 40 bucks so that's pretty much it this is what you get in the rugged Kubot N1 hopefully you did find this review useful and interesting if you have then please drop us a like and if you want to see more of the same you know what to do please follow us on Instagram. I've left the link in the description below the video. And also click on the red subscribe button as well as the bell notification. And we'll see you in the next one.